Hey everyone, so I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited about Thanksgiving coming up. And what a better time to talk about thankfulness. So I've got my vacuum here today. Uh, it usually has this long part, so it's not this short, but I needed to get it in the shot. And a vacuum might seem like a weird thing to help me talk about gratitude. Um, but I was vacuuming just the other day, and I had started to notice that it may have been a while since the last time that I vacuumed. I could hear all of the dirt and the dust that was coming up the tube. It was weird because I only really realized how dirty it had gotten when I had started vacuuming. And when it was all clean, behind the couch was clean, underneath the carpet was clean, and I felt really good about the whole situation. And that all made me start to think about how similar vacuuming and showing gratitude or saying thank you is. You see, when we show gratitude to someone who maybe has done something nice or maybe they've done something small that we could have easily said nothing, we take that second to realize that thing that made us happy. And hopefully we also were able to make them feel a little bit better or make them feel like their actions were a bit more valued when we said thank you. But the more that we say thank you, the less we ignore the things that make us happy. Just like the more I frequent I vacuum, the cleaner my house is. And now I'm not saying that if we wait too long between thank yous or showing gratitude, that we somehow become dirty, like my floor when I wait too long between vacuums. But what, just like my floor gets dirty between vacuums, we might feel more and more blue the less we take time to attend to and to appreciate the things that make us happy. Now, if you're looking for a sneak peek of this Sunday's discipleship brochure, you can try out uh, one of the activities this week, and that is to take five minutes at the end of your day to just write down things that you're thankful for that day. Take that time to attend to and appreciate the things that make you happy. Um, otherwise, you can find out on Sunday even more ways that you can practice your Thanksgiving through the Discipleship brochure. Cool. Well, take care, everybody. Bye.